Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great day. Well, today, as you can see, is floss tube day. It is my 220th floss tube. Today is March 19th, 2024. And here we are. Holy cow. And we have our March cup. And today I'm drinking green tea with jasmine this morning. And it's a little hot. Yeah, I just made it and it is delicious. So, it was quite the week. It, you know, we had snow, we had company, we had stitching and videos and we had all the things. Yeah. So, oh, and before I forget... Um, I will have a surprise video, a surprise unboxing at 1 o'clock today, and that's Mountain Standard Time. So, it's in place of the video that I usually have at 1 o'clock. So, yeah, join me for that. So, this, this is the sum total of what I worked on. This is like the slowest week ever, so to speak. Um, yeah. Because I was busy with company for four days, which is fine. I really enjoyed myself. We had a good time. We got to go places and buy things and put up things and do a little construction, if you will. If you count the lamps as being, or lights as being construction. So we got that all done and a few things fixed that needed to be fixed around the house. Other than that, we just relaxed, watched TV, went out to eat. We had a great time. So, yeah. And then in between all that, I stitched a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't say I overdid it or anything like that. So, this might be kind of a, a short little floss tube today, but we'll start at the top. We had two reviews. We have part one of VIP and part two of uh, DP Clubs. I'll take it, when I look at my notes, it says DPC. It looked like diamond painting. I almost said diamond painting. We didn't do any diamond painting last week. No, I no. had no time. And the snow, we probably got 12 inches of snow if we got that much plus. Yeah. It was a ton. But the company got here, so we are thrilled set. So, let's start with what we started, and no, I didn't get back to hardly any of this. So, we started the yin and yang cats, and I'm pretty sure I started on this side with this color. So, it's very nice and small. It's not very big. I'm trying to figure out which way it goes. So, it's the top of that cat's head, and there's color, like, swirling behind him. So I'm not sure if it's part of the cat yet. Didn't get far enough to even tell you whether or not it was part of the cat. So, yeah. But this is a very nice little kit. And it'll be awesome for uh, summertime. You know, and very easy to take someplace. Because folded up, it's about the size of maybe... Oh, it's a little bigger than 5 by 7 ish You know, I mean, folded up. So, yeah. It, it won't take much. So let me put that away. And that was from VIP. Both of these were from VIP. So the next one, oh, it's still got the thing on it. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was in a hurry that day, I guess. And, and the needle minder. So it is the cats and the water. I just love this. It's so cute. So cute. And it's so small. So, see, it's still got the needle minder and the, the cat, or the little bear needle minder and the clips. Hang on. Oh, I forgot that was metal. It's stuck right to my little table over here. Yeah. So, we didn't get much done. Let me fold it in half. But see how tiny it is? Yeah. So, I'm enjoying these littler ones. This is full coverage, but it's not too big. So, just started in some of those green leaves. So, yeah. That was the big starts for the week, I'm telling you. It was exciting. I had other things I had to do. So, yeah. 
I swear we ran here and there and here and there. By the end of the day, I was just, I was done. I haven't done that much traipsing around in a long time. So I guess I got to get into practice because spring and summer are coming and my daughter will want to go and look at some rocks and mountains and climb up hills and stuff. Yeah. So I better get into shape before I get there. So what else did I stitch on? Hang on. I have a loose thread. I opened two kits and I have a loose thread. Stay over there. Leave it on the road. The next one was from Colorful DIY. And I'm really enjoying this one. It's not too big. It's, well, I guess it is. It's 85 by 47. And it's the kittens in the basket. I love it. It's so cute. So we started with this cat over here. And I started that ball of yarn. I think it's right there where the cat's head is. So I put a few more strands into that. Let me get a hold of the thread in my hand. So I've almost completed the cat's face. There's like some, oh, tiny bit of confetti. I mean, it's not anything. Sorry, I'm trying to make it smaller bigger but it's coming out really well I really like it so I still got like down here and then up around the part to finish its head and I finished up that yellow thread for that ball of yarn so yeah like I said the uh, threads are I mean the thread the cross stitch is not going to be anything compared to the back stitch so yeah don't get too happy about it right but we're just going to take a one thing at a time. And I thought, well, you know, I'll just do like a cat head and I'll do the, the back stitching. But then I got to realize I have to do the background and then all the way around it to do the outline. So, yeah, it'll be a hot moment before I get to back stitching. But yeah, I thought that's how that was going to go. So, other two or two more that I worked on this week. This is from DP Clubs last week it is the lovers in the garden so i started on this side and trying to get this we'll call it a, a triangle-ish thing here i know it, it's called something else but math is not my strong suit we just stitch so i've been adding a few sorry piece of thread so this is the top because there's the name. So I've been working on that outer edge that comes all the way down. So we did that in the thing. And I didn't stitch any other place other than, let me fold it in half, this corner. So I about got the, the roses done and started on the leaf, leaf part. So yeah, it's coming along very nicely. It's it's got a lot of detail to it, so it'll take a hot moment. And there's back stitching, so yeah. And then it's got the cry neck as if the back stitching wasn't enough. Yeah, hang on just a second. I gotta do something. Gotta put that thread away because, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna just put it in its bag. And I worked on the uh, Mount, Fu Mount Fuji jigsaw puzzle. So. This week I started on the trees, so I've got about got the leaves all of the trees done, and we started on this brown part, the the trunk and the stem. But that's basically all I worked on on it. But it's going. I mean, it goes pretty fast when you actually sit down, and I know it's amazing if you sit down and actually stitch it, get some done. But. I mean, for what it is, I mean, it's not real difficult. So you could finish these two trees in an hour or maybe hour and a half. It depends how uh, fast you stitch. But that's the part I was working on this week. So I've got other little pieces and parts. I still haven't finished that. And I still got the butterfly up here and the back stitching in this. There's some like around there. Their wings and leaves. Um, no, wings and leaves. Oh, God. <sighs> wings and bodies 
of them. So it's nominal back stitching. I don't think there's any back stitching in these right here, so or in this one. And I got the top part of that done. So haven't started on the dragon. So we're basically on this side of the whole thing. And I still don't know what I'm going to do about that bridge. That bridge kind of sends me over the edge and I want it to be a different color. Yeah, so I got to look for a, a blue to make it. I think I'm going to make it blue. Hell, it could be red by the time I get done with it. So we'll see. Yeah, I just got stabbed by the needle. Yeah, we'll put it back in its bag. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Get in your bag. Thank you. Before you stab me again. Holy cow. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. The next thing that I worked on is the Riverside Building Night Moon. It always has to have some weird name. So, I'm still working on this part of that building. And then I'll have to really get into the tree. So, I just kind of concentrated right in there. So, didn't feel like trees this week. Didn't feel like the background and the sky. Holy cow. And, of course, there's a lot of thread. A lot of thread. Go there. So, let me adjust. Hang on. So, as you can see, maybe if I can get it together, hold on and flip and hold. So, yeah, I'm almost done with the top, this section. It's just got a lot of reoccurring threads that were up in here, you know, in a bigger area. And I've about whipped all the, the excess little pieces of confetti. So I got maybe three or four colors there. So that's no big deal, but yeah, it's, I love this. I just absolutely love this. You can sit down and stitch and stitch and stitch. And it, the material is lovely. The threads are lovely. I just, I absolutely love it. Throw the thread back in there. And that, guys, is everything that I worked on this last week. I, I don't know how I even managed all that. I just pick it up and put a few stitches in it and, sit there while we were watching TV and do the uh, little 14 count the Mount Fuji one because it's easy to see it. You know, you can do a motif and go on. Do a motif and go on. So, that's just the way I take that one. So, I'm enjoying all those that I stitched on this last week. So, very nice. Very nice. This week, not sure if we'll have reviews or we'll be stitching on new stuff, old stuff, you know. Maybe some things that I didn't start, you know, like last week or the week before. We're just playing it by one day at a time. But that, guys, is it. Um, of course, we'll have uh, the March-Saturday stitching and we'll have the soothing Sunday stitching. Kind of like keeping it the the Sunday soothing stitching um, because it's just relaxing to me so I thought maybe it would be more it would be relaxing to y'all so that's why I just do that once a week and no pressure I don't have to talk I don't you know I have to carry on the conversation but you can just listen to the music and work on whatever project y'all are working on and, yeah, I find it very relaxing. I listen to uh, Stitchery Lovers all the time, and that's what I do there. So, yeah. All right. I think I've covered about everything, hopefully. And hopefully there won't be any snow this weekend because, I, I, yeah, for all the snow that happened, I thought I would be, we'd all be stuck inside, you know, for two, three days. Not at all. Are you kidding the friend from Arizona has four-wheel drive, so we just went. And like I said, the roads were not bad at all, like even the next day. So spring snow, it happens. But there's a lot of snow up there on those mountains. I have yet to get a picture because for four days, we didn't even see the mountains because it was snowing. 
and you can't see the cracks and crevices on the mountains because there was so much snow. So I really wouldn't envy anybody going up there to even think about hiking for a hot moment. Yeah, it'll be a while before that all melts off. All right, guys, I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.